is Rachel from Rachel Lee's Marvel. Today I will introduce you to a very cool 3D tool. This is slide, this is a cloud storage tool so you can work on your browser or you can download it on your computer and use it. It's function like Figma. You can learn more about it on the YouTube channel of Slide or the channel of Moonfam. And today I will introduce a way to model and animate objects in Slide. Let's get started. First, let's add a new file. Delete this default rectangular shape and change the background color here into a brighter shade. Tap the plus icon to add a sphere. You can look anywhere on the screen to make it pop up. Hold shift and drag it to scale it up. And you can hold option or command to rotate the environment. The default material contains lighting and color. And we got to change the color into depth. I move that layer above the lighting so I can control the gradient. Let's use the cyan and green for our gradient. There's a controller here and you can run it around to adjust your gradient. I will add a new material layer and I put it below the depth. I'll choose the display mode. I will change the number here to make it deform a little bit. When finished, put the lighting layer on top. Let's change the intensity of lighting into 40. It will help reduce the contrast of our sphere. Let's add a new layer called Fresno. It will create a cool lighting outside and I will change the opacity into 60. Tap this icon to quickly create a new cube. Scale it up and move it so it will contain our sphere. When you've done, tap this smooth and edit mode and reduce the level into zero. Select all faces, then rotate it in S axis for 45 degrees then Y axis for minus 45 degree. Type this X to close the edit mode and return to our home page. Let's apply some material. First, change the color into glass. Reduce the intensity of lighting. And then add a personal layer to create an inner glow. Let's change the glass setting a little bit. I will add a new layer called Noise and I change the setting of it. It will create a more classy look for our cube. Finally, add a outline layer for the cube. Change the outline color into white and change the mode into overlay and the opacity into 20. You can preview it and rotate around to see how it looks. Let's change the position of the light so it will stand in front of our cube and sphere. Click outside so you don't select any object. Then change the environment setting. I change the color of the environment to make it more blue and and don't forget to choose the soft shadow. Let's change the color of the light too. Let's add a new sphere behind our main objects. I will change the color into matte cap and I will upload an image of a marble texture from my computer. one more matcap layer and I will upload the lossiness layer from my computer. 
I will put the link to the material in my description box. Don't forget to check it. For another sphere, let's use the available matte cap. Change the mode into overlay and add a new color layer. Look really nice, so I will do the animation right now. I only apply the animation for the curve and sphere, so I will select the curve first. Add a new state right here so you can change the properties of the curve. I will change the rotation of the X axis into 306. To trigger the animation, you need to add a new event and you will tap yes on the repeat so our curve can rotate permanently. I change the duration into 12 seconds and you have a rotating curve like this. Now let's do the same with uh, the sphere. Select the sphere and add a new state. Then change the movement of our sphere into 6. Add new event and tap yes on the cycle and yes on the repeat. Change the duration into 3 seconds and you will have this animation. Click the eye icon to show the cube again. And then we have this really cool animation. You can export it into many kind of file, and you can also export it into code with many type of uh, setting inside. This is the end of the tutorial today. Hope it have you guys in the 3D modeling and animation. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. See you in the next video. Bye.